Ladies and gentlemen, if you're in West Michigan or probably in a lot of other parts of Michigan, you're probably seeing some snow today. I'm News 8 Digital Anchor Luke Lassier here from the Wood TV Live Desk. Joining me as we head into the evening hours today, Chief Meteorologist Ellen Baca. Ellen, I got to tell you, I haven't seen the radar looking like this in a minute. Yeah, this Look is at great. that blue. It's Literally, like... the whole lower peninsula, <laughs> just about. Just about. Mackinac City is like just shy of seeing widespread snow, but everyone is seeing steady. <laughs> funny no. because they're the ones usually getting it right <laughs> we're like take that upper peninsula yeah. it's our turn <laughs> we have uh not a lot of wind which is really nice so if you step outside you'll notice that the snow is falling almost directly straight down and that means that our chances for power outages is exceptionally low and we're just waiting for that snow to stack up and it's definitely been stacking up luke <laughs> Hey folks, if you have any questions there, I've already seen some of the comments roll in. If you're watching, you may know how we do this already. Use those hashtags, hey Ellen, hey Luke, your questions up there. Be able to hopefully get them answered or just take some comments there. Let's hop over into our graphics, Ellen. Starting us off, we have our snowfall reports. All right, so these uh, have come in since about noon. So some of them might be a little old. So if you live like in Hastings or Portage and you're like, wait a minute, we have more than that. Yeah, you probably do. <laughs> and let us know what you're seeing. But here is confirmed totals. Uh, through this afternoon, Hastings getting close to about nine inches of snow, Battle Creek, eight inches of snow. In fact, we just got a new one from Battle Creek, closer to nine, although Brownlee uh, Park is at seven inches of snow. Portage 7.7, I .7, uh, had my in-laws say, we've got 10 inches in our driveway in Portage. Delton 7.5, Portland seven inches. All of that is right on track. And actually, Luke, if we just go to the very next graphic here with yeah, the, the second round, uh, here's some of the lesser ends or like the lesser totals. And this is exactly where we expected them to be. Matawan is at six and a half inches of snow. Remember, areas that were further to the west, we're not going to be seeing as much as those that were further to the east, closer to I-96. Irving, six inches. Alto, that's in Kent County, five inches of snow. Cutlerville, four inches. Grattan, uh, 2.5. And then also just getting a couple in from places like Allendale, three inches of snow, and Wayland, four. So honestly, looking pretty good with what we forecast. Uh, Impact-wise, the, the roads aren't great out there even mm, for spots mm, mm. that only saw about two to three inches of snow um, so I think the winter storm was warranted and I think that the alerts for the winter weather advisories also were in the correct places and then moving forward to our next one is that we have tonight through Thursday here. Yes. Again, a lot of coverage. <laughs> so many. I know I was like, gosh, I got to draw another gradient on here. So if you live in Muskegon and Big Rapids, up through Rockford, Ravenna, Grand Haven, even on the north side of Holland, you're going to be winding down here at about 8 p.m. And the amount of snow you see on the ground is storm total for you. That should be around less than two inches. Two to four from Holland up to Grand Rapids and Greenville. We're looking really good in that range right now. And honestly, if you live in Grand Rapids, Holland, or Greenville, the snow is probably going to be winding down for us closer to about 10 p.m. at the very latest by midnight long gone. South Haven, uh, north side of Hastings, north side of Berry County and Ionia, that's closer to the four to six range. There could be a few seven-inch reports. And then the six to ten range, Luke, you'll notice is looking really good. Uh, all of the reports that we've seen have lined up pretty perfectly with this. Uh, we don't have as high of reports yet for Ann Arbor or Detroit but they're only halfway through their storm so West Michigan should be wrapping up a lot of the snow tonight but if you're traveling to the east side of the state you're gonna to want to be very aware that Detroit Ann Arbor um, all the way down through Toledo is still going to be unloaded on they're still expecting a good eight plus inches of snow wow. for tonight and tomorrow so it's just gonna all be shifting east for be us. Be careful out there ladies yes. and gentlemen if you are forced to drive a couple of uh, totals, I guess, from various yes. towns and cities rolling in here. Thank we got you. Jeff, who says 10 inches here in Holt. Okay, perfect. Um, Jeff, thank you. Let's move over to our next one here, Ellen. This one. <laughs> <laughs> just getting a little bit of uh, everywhere here in the U.S. And by the way, thank you guys so much for sending in some of those snowfall reports by location. Very helpful for us um, to see what you guys are seeing on the ground. Yeah, whole, I bet you're seeing some snow there. Okay, so Storm Track Live, this is with all of the different alerts. Notice our winter storm warnings attached to winter storm warnings that basically stretch from Maine through New Hampshire, Vermont, New York, Pennsylvania, Ohio, all the way down to Texas and Texas. New Mexico. <laughs> and then on the fringe of that, everything in purple is a winter weather advisor where the impacts are just a little lighter, but same winter storm. That's basically all of Texas and then stretching up even yeah. through Wyoming. 
And then there's one uh, additional color there, Luke. You'll notice it hugs the Mississippi River just south of St. Louis and south of Indianapolis into a lot of Kentucky. That is where we're expecting an ice storm. Wow. Yeah. No bueno. Way no bueno. <laughs> so uh, we looked out on the ice here. Yeah. Um, but other parts of the country, especially international travel, pretty rocky the next day and a half here. I can't believe that all the way down in like San Antonio. Too. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Yeah. And you have to remember too, like some of these alerts are specific to the geographical area. So like for us, winter storm warning means like eight inches of snow, right? But for areas further to the south, winter storm warning or even winter weather advisory could just be like the existing of snow because they can't handle it. Remember when um, Texas got that huge cold blast, I think it was last year or the year before, oh, it just right. shut things yeah. down for like that two, That was bad down three, there yeah. in Austin. Right? Yes, yeah. yeah, it was rough. So we're seeing another one of these events here now um, with the winter storm warnings. And it, the whole point of warnings is just to give you a big heads up like, hey, today's not a typical day. Right. You know, today is a day that you're going to want to be careful on the roads. That's exactly what the warnings are for. It's interesting to see when states like that um, get those kind of storms because they're not always equipped for exactly. storms like where here yeah. in the Midwest, obviously Michigan, Ohio, Indiana has that. But I mean, South Texas, it's like, come right. on. Right. Yeah. They're like, I guess we'll wait till it gets warmer. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So moving on now here to our future cast, we have Thursday at 12, uh, Thursday, 12 a.m. Yep. So this is midnight tonight. Switching us through into Thursday, and notice the snow is still pretty present and prevalent on the east side of the state, but here in West Michigan, we're going to be calming down quite a bit. So I would not be surprised, Luke, if most of us see a break in the snow tonight, overnight, and then spots like Benton Harbor, Kalamazoo, Battle Creek could see the snow click back on again for a portion of Thursday. Sturgis, Coldwater, over through Hillsdale, um, Chelsea, uh, all those locations should continue to see accumulating snow through Thursday. But for us here in West Michigan, after midnight tonight, it's gonna calm down quite a bit. I was gonna say, looks like uh, kind of Southeast side's still getting it, and us, it's in the clear for now. Yeah, and I really think that most of us for Thursday are going to be pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. Like again, Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, Sturgis, Coldwater, you'll probably see some light snow develop again. But Allegan, Hastings to the north, I think Thursday's just going to be a cold day. Nice. Ellen, what are we looking at here coming up at 5 and 6? Yep, so we have traffic updates with Tom Hillen. He's going to be in the traffic guru that we have here at Wood TV. Um, so he'll be keeping you posted because some of the roads really are not great. Yeah, be careful, folks. Yeah, Yeah, we also have um, some of our reporters looking even more into some of the programs that are out and about, like shoveling sidewalks, things like that, uh, things that you'd want to know. Nice. And then as far as weather-wise, we're just going to continue to track this system out of our area. We're going to use the snow total that you give us and fill it in with some of the other data that we have to get some snow reports. I have to say the system shook out exactly as we were expecting it to, uh, and that's, nice. that's pretty good. So, Well, cool. Ladies and gentlemen, again, this stream has a link to it. It'll take you over to woodtv.com. All your weather-related news there. This has been a look at the Wood TV Live Desk. I'm News 8 Digital Anchor Luke Lasser. Ellen, thanks for taking some time. Always. And we'll see you at 5 and 6. Folks, drive safe out there.